Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Faith Roswell and yesterday one of my biggest inspirations, probably the biggest inspiration for my entire career died. And not many people know about her, or at least certainly not the kind of younger generation. I can't believe I've just said that word, that phrase non-ironically, but anyway. I'm going to tell you about Judy Strain. So I'm 33, I was uh, a kid of the 90s and 2000s, and I was very much of the alternative persuasion very early on. And people of the alternative persuasion decorated their notebooks with three different artists. Jasmine Beckett, who did fairies, uh, Victoria Francis, who did vampires, and Louis Royo, who did warrior women. And he was my gateway drug to old school muscle woman fantasy art like Boris Vallejo and Julie Bell. And at the time, being a young, bullied child and young teenager, never fitting in, autism not, not diagnosed at that point, I retreated into this world of these, these people. Now, of all the pictures that I sellotaped into my school books, one sort of character, woman, appeared, and this was that person. And it was embarrassingly many years later that I realised that she wasn't just a character, she was a real-life human being. So, who is Julie Strain? She was born in February, February 18th, 1962, in California, uh, which makes her an Aquarius in the Year of the Tiger, for anyone that's... that's Yes. <laughs> Julie was an athlete in her high school in California. She was very, very sporty indeed. She was six foot one and she had an accident where she broke her arm, her ankle and nearly snapped her neck falling from a horse. That head injury erased most of her childhood and teenage years. Didn't stop her. She became a nude model and in 1990 was in her first film and she played a locker room nude girl, uncredited. Dominatrix, vampire, renegade, cop, alien, Amazonian, warrior woman, fighter, total badass, yeah. Anyone that needed a tall woman who kicks ass, that was her. And people said to her, she, uh, there's an interview with her, and she says, people ask me how I got all these lucky breaks, but I was the only six foot one person willing to put on six inch heels and kick ass. <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. She was in 134 films and uh, became known as the Queen of the B-Movies. Some of the titles have been absolutely ridiculous. What have we got here? Um, Bloodsucking Strippers, Hellcats in High Heels 3, Zombie Geddon. Oh my god, I've got to watch that. <laughs> um, 13, 13 Erotic Ghosts. This is Sex Court, the movie. This sounds brilliant. This just sounds so bad, it's good. Those idiots of mine, if they're not already dead, I'd kill them myself. She acted in 134 films, and that's not including crediting for writing, directing, and even like lighting work and things like that. She's had a hell of a varied career. And of course, the, the Amazonian six foot tall muscular warrior woman with an amazing outfit collection got the attention of the fantasy artists. And along they came and started drawing her and loving this this woman who uh, in all interviews i've ever seen she comes across as as a really very friendly person and was very supportive of other women she said in an interview i'm a real life warrior i'm strong i've created this looming vixenous character who else is there other than maybe lucy lawless now you do know who lucy lawless is that is xena warrior princess now, Julie never really made a secret of the fact that she tended to prefer the creativity of the B-movies, but I honestly think she would have become extremely well-known indeed if another very familiar face with a similar but shorter physique hadn't turned out. So around the same time, early 90s, Pamela Anderson was in Baywatch and then Barb Wire. And now I think when people think of that kind of warrior woman look, that's who they think of. But Julie Strain was there first. There's comparatively little about her online. I mean, you look at someone like Pamela Anderson and, and do you know what she eats for breakfast? But with Julie Strain, there just isn't. She did have a biography called uh, Six Foot One and Worth the Climb. There are books of all of her published works, you know, her cr tradings cards. <laughs> um, there's so much of her influence in so much. It was reported in 2018 that she had dementia, but to be really fucking ironic, it's almost a year to the day when there were false claims of her death. So when I looked online to see, is it true that she died? And the whole page said, oh, January, January, false claims of her death. And I went, oh, thank God. And it was it was January 13th and January 14th last year. Not this year. 
one of my favourite quotes ever is the goal is not to live forever, it's to create something that will. And this woman's portrait was in this teenage kid's school notebook. And then that teenage kid grew into a professional nude model who wound up with a career as a fetish model. I discovered the Wasteland Warriors post-apocalyptic squad. I became a cage fighter. Her marketing was very similar to me. She described herself as a real life warrior. For a long time, my marketing was the living Lara Croft. But the thing is, and I'm having to explain this in another video rather soon, it was never Lara Croft. Certain things happen at certain times for certain reasons. Maybe if I had known that Julie Strain was a real life person in high school, I would have dressed up as her or tried to be her. But finding out when I'd already grown into my own image has maybe stopped me from becoming just a copy of her. And it's very strange how life intersects like that, uh, because now it turns out I have friends in common with her. So um, I'm gonna have to edit this absolute burble. I mean, fuck no. As the sun is setting, I have no idea how well this is going to turn out. I uh, hope I've done her justice. I'm coming a bit closer to the camera because the light, also the light is kind of fading outside, so I'm kind of left a bit late to film this. So if you like this secondary break from type after last week's executive dysfunction break from type, then please subscribe to my channel, stay adventurous and rock on. And if you are inspired by someone, tell her. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Faith Roswell and I talk a lot about li life. Oh, I do talk a lot about life, yes. If I can get the words out. The kind of the porn industry. Aeroplane? What? It was a good take. Damn you.